I'm gonna take a. I'm taking a nap after this. I'm telling you. I'm going shopping up this when I'm like around thirty. So. <laughs> Are you going shopping? <laughs> All right. You guys asked for her back. Here she is. Sierra and I are going to do the news of the czar today. Got a few stories going on. So first one we want to talk about that I found this morning is something that I know about. And we'll go ahead and do that. Da, 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 All right. This is about the Japanese super fans. Do they really want to marry their favorite idol? And we're supposed to be surprised by all this. And I have a theory why this has all changed. <laughs> mm -hmm. As people would know, about 10, 11 years ago, you know, we were as heavy in the J-pop and the K-pop. Well, more or less the J-pop dancing. We had all the idols and that kind of thing. Well, as we know about the Oshis, the Oshis, I guess, are the young ladies who are the idols and... And the single uh, 20 to 40 year olds that want to marry them and mm -hmm. they build shrines to them. And let's be clear on this. I, I'll just flat out the truth about some of these girls. Yes, I might say, I don't know how do you would test because, but like, you know, they're supposed to be 15, 16 years old, whatever have you, and young and all that kind of thing. Some of them, yeah, they do do, some of them do lie about their age, okay? let's let's mm -hmm. let's just let's just be honest here uh and they get up there and all these guys is supposedly they yell at the concerts bloody body body and they have these night sticks and all this crap and they get really heavy into it they buy these look books you know these girls in very sensual outfits and they buy those things and they sell all these albums one dude bought like Forty thousand dollars, oh, maybe a thousands of dollars of the albums to support his favorite idol, so he could maybe, hopefully, go out on a date with her. <laughs> wow, thousands. <laughs> well, yeah, you can look that. You can Google up about the guy who uh, who actually bought a bunch of albums to support, and basically, like AKB48 was set up where they'd have lots of idols, okay? They had the ones on stage, and then the, mm -hmm. that tour the world, and the other ones stay behind and deal with the fans. So that's the reason why it, it hurt the other little idol communities, because the other idol communities can afford to do that. And of course they have this big old contest where they vote on these girls and that kind of thing. And, you know, the winner becomes the next you know, uh, Ackerbear idol girl, I guess, and gets to be in the group and whatever have you. A lot of these girls are not talented. <laughs> True. I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, but... But some of them are really, really, really pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And cute. Like a triangle girl. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, so yeah, so they took a pole and they asked these guys, do you want to marry your Oshi? Uh, you don't want to marry your Oshi or I'm not sure. And it is very surprising what the results were because a lot of people say, well, these are otakus. Of course they want to marry their Oshi. You know, of course that, I don't know if that's a correct term or not that you should ask if they want to marry them you know maybe they just right. want to go out on a date with them. maybe it's casual <laughs> friendship right. you, you want to you know exactly so uh the results were 24.5 percent said yes they do want to marry their oshi uh, and then 36.2 percent said no out of the question and then 40 percent almost 40 percent said they're not for sure. They're undecided. Mm, sounds political. To mm. me. Oh. How do you take a poll like this? It's like, do you call these people and say, <laughs> All right, we got a few questions. You take a poll for me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, now, I understand that you worship a 15 year old <laughs> girl. Now, would you marry her or not? <laughs> 
Who's your daddy?